So I guess it's now life. Hey guys, please take a seat. How oh, we going like? Let us be at peace one another. Let's surprise one another. Let us sink in that ocean. And please remember your name. Oh, it's starting to be crazy here. Oh, it's starting to be good in here. How oh, it's starting to be good in here. Baby and babies, let us sing together. We cool down the crazy island. We cool down the crazy island. We should do this over and over and over again. We start over soon. Start over soon. We start it over soon. We start. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your art, your music, your soul so beautifully. Thank you. Thank you, Ellis. Thank you, guys. Well, Victor, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on, Alice. Thank you very much. Very glad to be here. Very glad. It's finally... I can see now everything just coming to little places here and there. And it's aligning. It's getting more precise. So if I can share with you guys the spark of the creating with you, I would be a very honored. Very honored. Likewise. Yeah. Mm. I love that visualization of everything coming more and more into alignment and the sparks of the infinite harmonizing more and more with one another in this love light Leela. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the work we want to do to each other. That's really what we want to do. That's really what um, helping on um, a more, let's say, um, subtle and precise and more conscious also. You want to, you want to share that spark with, with, with others, like really that like consciously focused, precise in their, in their calling really in, in what they want to, what they want to give. And, and I'm learning, you know, I'm learning with you, I'm learning with, with a lot of people, you know, it's getting, getting more precise, it's getting exciting, really exciting too, I gotta say, exciting. Yeah. Yes. yes. Exciting times, really exciting times. Really exciting times. But, I mean, it is, you know, you gotta look at the facts and... It's exciting. I mean, it's a choice. Okay, okay, we can we can all agree on that. But you gotta say it's it's exciting. It's exciting fucking times. It's, it's really, it's really, it's really, it really is. And it's most exciting for those that are actually seeing the difference between the conditioning and the purity. 
that's most exciting for those that see yeah. the re the shift into permanent alignment. Yeah, it, it's it's a puzzle. It may, it may it may look like a really tough puzzle. No, you say you say puzzle, right? Yeah, <laughs> so you say puzzle. It's not, it's not a good word, but it, it, you get. So it may look like a re this really tough like puzzle at first, and and you say like, oh, awakening. Like it's good, and now I can see, and and then no, no, you don't see, you don't see shit. <laughs> the first year, you know, it's like, oh, I'm getting this this new insight. I can I can see it, <laughs> and six months later, one year later, you're like, no, 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 no. I was blind. I was blind as fuck. I... <laughs> I thought I was seeing something, but I but I was blinding my bowel by my own bullshit, and so yeah, and you look yourself at the mirror and you're like, okay, I'm full of shit. It's good, <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's it's really good. Where are and my perpetuating algorithms that are purely serving my? distortions my lack beliefs my yeah. need to be seen and validated versus when am i coming from a sourceful place of truly serving the creation yeah you put it very you put it very well put it very well put it very well you don't want to be seen that's you don't want it. You think you want maybe a bit of fame of the validation stuff is pretty. It's pretty big in this society, and this is a big shackle, a big shackle. So yeah, you you, you gotta you you you're brave already. The, I was say I was ready to say. You, be brave, be brave, and the more the braver you get, the, the the more exciting life will be, and the more you won't give any shit, any fuck about what other thing and but it, it's very prevalent, and I and I really resonated with one of Bentinho's uh, quotes it was like a couple of days ago, like if others' voice keep echoing. Uh, in your mind, and I don't remember what what, what the end of the sentence say, but <laughs> but there was a solution at the end. <laughs> there was something really good. I can't remember. Fuck. But yeah, it's not it's not you. But you gotta extract yourself, and and maybe they're echoing because you want to use those voices to victimize yourself. You know, it's like, oh, great, those voices again. Oh, I can, I can use them to, not to act or not to, not to do or not to, not to be what, what you want to be. So it really comes down to this. You want to use that as a victimization kind of uh, tool. Uh, you say, okay, I'm full of shit. I don't want that. I don't want that. And uh, you plunge. Guys, take the dive. <laughs> take the fucking dive. Take it. This has most recently become the fundamental question in the last month that has shifted the view so much because the level of vigilance now for every single frame there was no humility at first it was i know that i know myself i accept myself of course what is what is the concept you you, you mean the nls family or you mean the the, the awakening type of processes for 
both. So I'll clarify okay. here. In the know yourself, accept yourself, become the creator, that it's very easy to rush and say, I've achieved step number one and step number two. I know myself and accept myself completely 100%. And so we rarely check our fraudulence like you were indicating we rarely check our bullshit and we in the last month especially for me there's been a very clear shift into more hyper vigilance with devotion to watching each frame to become more and more aware of when is when is atlas purely aligned with the love light and coming from source versus when is there a distortion algorithm that is trying to come through and so now there's that distinction it's so subtle in every frame to catch that distinction yeah i love the you know it's it's it, it took me some time to really realize what they were actually talking about. But in this talk where Bentinho and Anurag yes. talk, talk about where exactly you're coming from. And at first I thought, okay, I'm coming from this past and those experiences and those stories and, and that and this and blah, 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 blah. And it really took me some time to no, 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 it's, it's not about this, it's not about the stories, it's not about that. What exactly is your intention? What do you want to give? What can you be clear on? Why are you opening your mouth at this exact moment? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Do you know why the fuck are you even talking? And was like a major shi major shift like a major major fucking like really beautiful shift and in this uh in this society like really i saw the level of some participants i'm like okay 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 <laughs> i'm like okay no more bullshit uh just well yeah just Purify, where the fuck exactly are you coming from? Why do you want to talk? Why? What message do you want to, to, to relay, to bring? What do you want to give? What do you want to give? Are you trying to get something like very in a very subtle way? Are you exciting? Are you what do you what do you want? Can you can you check with yourself? That's, you know, and the more you do that, the more you, you, you'll be amazed by what words actually comes out of your mouth after that. And you don't rec after like a, a process, you don't recognize yourself anymore. You don't recognize yourself. You don't recognize yourself. And you see no point, you don't see any point, again, in telling any stories. I mean, it might, it might, it might, it might, be, it might be really good sometime to, to, to tell a story. Maybe but what, in what angle do you choose and what message sometimes. That, but I was amazed by Bentinho really never talked about his, and also his team and they're really like precise and and purified in their in their being doings but it's very inspiring very inspiring and it becomes very inspiring for others and they cannot grasp you that's what i realized like not too long ago they cannot grasp you anymore and they feel people tend to feel kind of lost they don't know exactly what the fuck you are anymore like 
but where you come from, uh, I mean, you know, you got friends. What do you do? What do you? <laughs> it's funny. I I love I love to to interact with this humanity that the I, I love it. I have a lot to learn, and but it, they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. <laughs> But come on, man. Where, where are you from exactly? What have you done? What, why are you? I mean, are you high? Are you <laughs> all the time, man? Every day, every day. It's 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 really funny. It's really funny. That was such a profound, eloquent way to explain why are you even talking right now where is it truly coming from what is your intention with speaking are you here trying to extract something are you speaking to get validation are you speaking to fulfill a distortion of conditioning or are you silent empty bliss awaiting the very sourceful giving and that distinction is so profound. And you're right that the need to tell stories dissolves. There's no need to tell a story yeah. to get validated by somebody else. Rather, the story acts as a mechanism if it arises in order to concisely share a reflection you become more and more reflecting to the other self mirror what is seen as a layer of said conditioning and assisting in the process of that mirror recognizing that they were coming from conditioning and that becomes basically the primary algorithm is the alchemical awakening coming from source for that purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, have, you have this way of putting things like together. It's, it, it's quite fun. And I, I really enjoy that. We enjoy, but yeah, you're right. You're right. It, it's really bad, and 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 you, you and you want you want that. You want to be a mirror. Bentinho said there is a lot of a high demand on mirror consciousness, a very high demand. I can feel it too. I can see it too. Very high demand. Very high. That's why silence is... I'm going to get back to silence because... Victor, you cut out. You, you cut out. Start at the very beginning of what you were saying, if you could, please. You dropped out of the Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, yeah, I was talking about mirror consciousness. Mm -hmm. And now uh, there is a very high demand on mirror consciousness. And I was talking about silence and why silence is, is very, very, very important right now. And they want to see that sometimes don't, don't, don't talk at all. Just can you be able to look at every sisters and brothers out there and just fall into that. You know, that's a good exercise I like to practice a lot. It's I, I look, I just look at people. I, um, I place myself in front of them and I don't say shit and I just look at them. And there is all these limiting beliefs that just pops up and oh, you're crazy or oh, this is not good. This is not that. This is not socially like right or wrong and there's 
And you like you feel that like your ego is burning in front of you, like no, 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 <laughs> Mama, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You're like yeah, just do it. You, you're gonna see. Try to surrender. Try to not even talk. You don't have to talk. You don't have to say anything. Just look at them and see yourself in it, and and they're gonna see. They're gonna. A lot of reflections and a lot of, a lot of beauty, beauty in it. A lot of beauty. So do it. <laughs> no, this kind of drill, drill surgeon. But yeah, it's. You really want to do it, like, on the. Uh, I think the image of the drill surgeon, but if you're not devoted, you know, like if you're not all in, if you're not just don't do it, you know, just it's, we don't want the the, so yeah, the half. Um, anyway, but you get my point. It's either all in or you don't go, you know, so. Yeah. But it's worth it. It's really worth it. It's really fucking worth it, guys. It's so worth it. You know, I was... It was like a couple of days ago. I was... Like, um, this ego was... Well, I was afraid of something I didn't want to do. And, and I caught myself and I said, okay, no more, you know? I could see, like, a pattern and like something repeating and I just said, okay, no more, no more. Mm. I was really much afraid at, at first. And, you know, each time, each time it works, each time it's amazing. You really purify yourself and you shift, you shift, you really shift, really shift. Mm. And it's magical. Yes. It's it's magical. It's magical. It's just in one you know, couple of seconds and bam you shift. Mm. And it's easy, you know, it's not it's not like this you think it's tough. It's may sound tough for your ego at first, but but the more you do it, the more you you the easier, the easier it gets and you it becomes like this second nature of yours. Yes. And burning the ego, whatever you want to call it, becomes quite easy. And fun. Yeah. It becomes fun. It becomes fun to do it. Really fun. Really fun. It's fun. Funny. It's good you brought up mirror. So awakening has a lot to do with realizing that we are mirrors, mirroring. And it has a lot to do with recognizing when, like you're describing and like we've been talking about, when the mirror is coming from a place of purely reflecting the love light of creation versus when it is having that dirty spot on it where it's reflecting a distortion of conditioning and so we become more subtly aware when we interact with these other selves that the mirrors sort of have a gradient from a dirty 
to a very clean. And in the ultimate analysis, it already is ineffable perfection. And yet simultaneously, we recognize that there are, there are sparks of the infinite expressed in this creation that have a higher purity in their mirroring. And that's why, like you indicated, they're so highly sought after is because they're coming from source in sharing where, as a reflection, the impurity is to the other self, to that other mirror. And so, for example, for us right now in this Navy Seals of Spirituality in the No Limit Society, there's a lot of reflecting that is really insightful for, like Victor pointed out, it becomes fun. It becomes really fun to yeah. burn the layers of conditioning. Yeah. And to align oneself with more pure stewardship for creation, you constantly come from a place of stewardship, of shepherding. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And it, it becomes an honor, an honor to do that job. An honor. Like, really is. Really is. And you don't run away from any responsibilities because you see you see the beauty in it, you see the fun, you see how exciting life can, can, can become for you, can be for you. So you're like, fuck it, you know, this ego conditioning, this personality traits that I was so kind of attached to, you know, was like, okay, this is me, I'm the, I'm the, the fun guy or the, the, the wisdom sharing guys or storyteller or I don't know, you know, the cool, I don't know, I don't know what you want to identify, identify yourself with. But, um, but I can see with this NLS families that even the personality traits, they're not defining you in any ways, absolutely not. And I, actually, you want to be uh, out of any definitions, like any definitions, any definitions. You don't, you don't need them, and they're just a way to, to maybe make yourself like make yourself safer in some way, like. Okay, I'm that, or I'm this or that, or just drop it all, <laughs> drop it all, drop it all. It's not useful. It's not useful for you. It's not useful for for your friends, or family, others. It's not useful. I think it is, but it's really not. And you're very safe. You're very safe. You know, this with me. I don't think I can hear you anymore. Atlas, I don't know. I muted the mic because there's a helicopter in LA flying over. But it just went past. Okay, I get it. Yeah, guys, you know, just drop the definitions and, you know, have fun. Right, it's, it's really, it's, just let it go, have fun. <laughs> you know. Have fun, guys. Victor, why is your calling around people experiencing the craziness of creation? 
Why? And what does it mean to you? Why? I don't know exactly the why. Um, I found I found it like very healing, and and I guess I just also love like popping all those bubbles, you know. You go outside and you see all those people and and there is this big bubble around their head. It, it's true. Bentinho pointed out, but it's it's very true. That's also what I feel. And I love to pop pop that bubble. You see? <laughs> pop it up. Like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Well, exactly. You see people like very robotic acting like yeah very much very fucking much and i'm like just like pop it up. <laughs> like what what the fuck is going on i want them to to i guess it also has to do with uh, where i come from as an individual and my experiences is and um this Like because I I thought at some point being being seen as crazy was really unsafe uh, for me. Um, and uh, there has been this healing process around that, really healing process around that. So I get to accept that and to see as to see it as really like a perfection and as you know this this creator wanting to experience itself that way you know that way that way you want to drive them nuts you want to drive them nuts and that's what that's what i love that's what really excites me to drive them nuts to drive those people around nuts it's <laughs> it's it's really fun. it's very little it's very subtle sometimes it's gross and so <laughs> it, it's like what the fuck is going on why are you even saying this it doesn't make any sense is can be all those you know we're talking like about stories and you know this need of the humanity to justify itself you know permanently about where you come from, what you've done, what you realize, so on, so on, so on. So it just like became it naturally for me as I was into my purif uh, purifying processes to just like starting, just starting to tell like bullshit, like just like very crazy, crazy stories, crazy and unbelievable stories. Unbelievable! The guy has to say, "What? What is it? What exactly is this? What?" <laughs> it's, it's really, you know, it's just like it became just uh, like second nature. I, I, I like very. I wasn't controlling anything. I wasn't trying to manipulate my way out of here, out of there. It just be became like really natural really me and really yeah really i don't know what is like purified purified so why do i want to do that i guess it has to do with the shattering shattering exploding just those bubbles or trying to <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have to do something you know at the end and i also want them to exercise their free will i see i see very weak free will around me very will uh, weak uh, focused oriented beings so i want them to recalibrate give them this opportunity 
to like affirm themselves like no no i don't want that so get the fuck out and i'm i'm going to push them push 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 until you know the the all the layers of conditioning of what should be done what shouldn't be done just like dropped melt and they have no choice to act intuitively I come from this source kind of like location even if there's no location but you get my point so I want them to drop it all and you know go seek what really it is you want to do what really it is you want to please do it you know or act do something that's that's one way to put my calling. <laughs> You're like pranking them. A prankster. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I see. So there's the experience for you of being a unique spark of the infinite that is excited about a highest calling around the unlocking of the frozen will of those that are following the scripted robotic algorithms that we liberated ourselves from. We liberated ourselves from that because we were pursuing, as we unlocked more of our frozen will, it enabled us to pursue more metaphysical truth in this North Star position relentlessly, and in the mm -hmm. process, gain more of that spiritual mass, and then turn and serve the creation unlocking more of their frozen will and in a sense it can look like moving ice which is like these egoic layers of conditioning that we've been talking about and this very robotic automata style behavior to vapor which is more of the sovereign will choice highest excitement north stars igniting the planetary awakening being a pure shepherd, a pure steward. And I love that spark of the infinite. It's a really important spark of the infinite. And we typically don't see that as important in the unlocking of the frozen will. Because sometimes in the higher Navy Seals of spirituality, and I've noticed this with the way people have reflected to you before, it can be reflected as, well, why do you desire, where are you coming from that you desire to playfully melt the cages? As Jordan Bates says, one of our friends, that why do you desire to playfully melt the cages of those in the matrix and unlock their will? Why do you have the, the lack belief or what are you trying to achieve? And I, I don't see it that way. I see that angle to it because it's an important angle for those that are coming not from source and doing that. But I really feel a lot of purity when it comes from you. I feel you're very silent, you're very still, and you're coming from a place of truth, of wanting to be a shepherd for unlocking the frozen will. And so because you come from there and you're refining your ability to come from there, I trust where you're coming from. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And I got to say, People has, has to understand that it's not it's not very comfortable to 
LGBTQT. Uh, and also where I was coming from, I was, uh, I, I wasn't that guy. I wasn't that guy at school. I wasn't that, I was this very, uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, people can see that tendency wanting to, to mess with people, trying to shatter those bubbles, trying to, to be a dick and be really provoking and provoking statement and, and just like acting and playing and just like mess you're messing around you really and you become this pain in the ass and people are just too fuck what this going on i gotta gotta do something and, and sometimes people have to understand that it's not it's not always comfortable like People like they don't like you at all, and you, you become this pain in the ass, this dick, and just it's not. I, mean, I was ready, I was ready to, to, and I'm really ready for more. But it's sometimes, yeah, sometimes it can be seen as pretty tough, like people projecting all this shit, and and and. But it's it's good. It's it's really good. But yeah, man, I see someone fishing, like way too close to the sea. I want to push that dude. I want to push him. <laughs> oh man, I want to. And it took me a long time to to see that as a spark, you know, the, the, the creator, like really it took me, why, you know, why, 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 why? Because there's this, you know, compassionate, nice kind of conditioning, you know, of what spirituality is about and what unity is about and so on and so on and so on. And sometimes we're like, okay, and they're all projecting this, and okay, I'm confused because I really want to, I really want to mess with them, and and I love it, you know. I love it. Drive them nuts. Uh, yeah, man, you get sometimes you you get kicked, you, you get you get your ass kicked, and you you get punched, and but it's fun, it's, it's really fun, and I, I really see it as a. I think the native, uh, the call the call that particular spark, um, ayoka. The 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 Ayoka the, the I think it's there I don't know I haven't searched a lot but I, I think there is a term for for that particular spark so I was kind of amazed once uh, a guy just uh, I've met like told me yeah yeah the natives there is a spark and very much respected and I was like oh wow fuck uh, okay okay good mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. because uh, to be clear at some point I, I thought I was uh, I was being worthy or deserving like to be locked up because I was I was looking at this pack and what what uh, what it could become and I was like oh wow this this is gonna get like really messy for a lot of people a lot of people and I was like whoa what do I deserve being worthy of being locked up and locked in? And because this is gonna make a lot of noise. And um, yeah, yeah, it's it's fun. <laughs> But no, 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 you, you, and thank you because you really put it like very, very beautifully, uh, 
Like there is a place for 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 that kind of spark. And if anybody is watching and if you can relate that you want to mess around and be provoking and just have fun with them and fun with people and pushing them. Uh, yeah, it's it's really beautiful. It is. It is, guys. It's you know, there's no there's so many ways to 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 be spiritual, whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's no there's no one path, two path, three path. There's what you choose and what your heart, you know, is calling you to do and to be. And yeah, it might, it might really piss off like a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people. But why the fuck would you care? Why the fuck would you care? You're going to attract beautiful people that are going to accept you for who you are going to attract an amazing, amazing life, amazing life, you know, at that moment when you become like really authentic and true to yourself, and you're like, okay, I'm that, I want to express that part of the creator, I want to express that, well, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you very much, Atlas, for for accepting in a way myself. It's been kind of a long road for me, and um, you know, yeah, I've I've had this tendency to 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 yeah, thinking that I was I was too much. For this world, that was too much, too much, too much. Because it's it's every day, every day I'm 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 having to confront like doing like a mess or it's it's almost on a day to day basis. Sometimes it can be draining. It's like, phew. but it's it's very much necessary. Very much necessary. But yeah, man. The the but it's I've had this day three happened, and uh, and it's it's been such. It has been this amazing moment where I realized, okay, uh, God, they tried to lock they try to lock me up. You know, I've been they 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 sent me to the psych ward. They try to put me in jail uh i've been like and I, I got my ass kicked like pretty bad like really bad i've had like oh a lot of a lot of stories and uh, but i persist uh, i really persisted and now the cops in my in my in my city they leave me the fuck alone. They leave me the fuck alone. Because they know they cannot do anything that will change me and what I want to become. And so I encourage, uh, I encourage everybody to persist and to trust themselves, trust themselves and trust their spark. Trust your spark. Trust your fucking spark. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Trust your spark. Trust it. Yeah. I love you.
they do. The recognition that you created the forces that tried to stop your spark in order to test yeah. your earnestness to it. Yeah. Uh, I just couldn't give up, man. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Are you, it's like your soul is somehow at stake, you know? You know those moments? Those moments where you say, okay, 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 okay. I can lose a bit of my soul here. I mean, you never lose truly anything, but you, you get my point. Well, I can't regain some of it. You're like, okay. Oh no, fuck that. I'm gonna take control of that. You know, ah, you know. mm. Out of the space of infinite possibility that the critical, pivotal, splitting moments as you share in this trajectory space, it could be so easy to fall into one of these lower trajectories that are not in your highest excitement towards that North Star, towards that calling. Yeah. And, and to be hyper-vigilant with every beautiful frame and to fully unleash the will, the choice, the self-awareness, the sovereignty as the creator in divine, transcendent, noble pursuit of that highest calling, repeatedly checking As we mentioned earlier, too, are we behaving for the ego conditioning or are we coming from source in pure service to creation? And so, in a sense, we have two pivotal checks with our hypervigilance. One of them is, is this the calling, the North Star, the highest excitement, the thumb on the trajectory space? And the other is, am I truly, purely coming from source? Yeah. And over, t over time, we trust ourselves more and more and we monitor ourselves less and less. Yeah, because we know what we we're doing it. We're doing the work, and you put that intention, and you know, you know you're doing it. You 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 you, you really much know, and doubts will just leave, you know, by themselves. They will leave really easily. No more. Because you know, you know you're doing the work, you know you're doing it. So just don't stop, don't. It's really worth it. It's really worth it. It really is. 
and on anybody tell you the opposite, you know? It's really about, you know, affirming yourself. Uh, okay, okay. I'm doing the work. I'm, it's, it's a courageous work you're doing. Really courageous work you're doing. Really courageous one. So you don't let, don't let anybody, any other thoughts make you believe that it is not true. Never, you know. Never, never, never. Mm -hmm. And you see, it's going to get like funnier and funnier and <laughs> yeah. exciting. And you're going to gain on the self-confidence. And you're going to see it like as really humility. Humility is self-confidence. That's why I always was attracted to this Pentino guy because self-confidence is humility. You're going to see that as true. And you're going to gain it more and more and more and more. You're going to trust yourself. And even in spiritual communities, even even in every community, okay, you're gonna stop positioning yourself in victimized position, and you're gonna stop positioning yourself and just be it. You're gonna you're gonna be it. You're really gonna be it. Okay, there's gonna be no more. Just gonna be it. So stop positioning yourself. Stop. Stop it all. Stop it all. Stop it all. Stop it all. See what like. Say what you have to say. Say what it's in your heart. Really, what is it in your heart? Really, really, really. And free yourself from any, any, any type of shackles and you know it took me some time to see humanity as very stupid. For me I was you know I was projecting, I was always like maybe you know they have to teach me something and to I was Positioning myself in this humanity and very, not recluse, but in a, how can I say that? But I thought, really, I thought, you know, like compassion and humanity was to see them. You no, know, I was trying to, they're here and you're here and you're trying to help them and, you know, like, you no. Know. This mask thing, I have to say, I have to say, <laughs> you know, this is, wow, this is, oh, fuck, man, this, <laughs> in the car, that's, that, that's the most, you know, how could you not want, how can, could you not want to experience and to, make pe pe people experiencing like the stupidity or craziness when they're at that level of consciousness to to wear a fucking mask in the car to, to be afraid of the wheel or to <laughs> i don't know you know i don't know what they're afraid of in the car they're alone <laughs> what it is what is it i don't i don't get it <laughs> what is it Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> dumb. Oh. Oh, dumb. So fearful. Must avoid the virus, even by myself in the car while driving. <laughs> Must wear a mask. Oh, my god. Oh. <laughs> Fear, 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 programming, 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 fear, 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 fear. 
I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. So pop gently, playfully, wisely pop those bubbles. Yeah. M- melt the cages. The very chainless chains. The very matrixless matrix. Yeah, 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 man. We create it ourselves, the very catalysts that are these onion layers of conditioning that we wake up to that then serve the ignition of our own awakening. Yeah. And so what it sounds like your beautiful calling and experience now and moving forward is is the process of how to be maximal optimal precision jedi in the process of popping bubbles wisely gracefully with love compassion and respecting the art of free will and choice in the process yeah that was, that was a big one for me at some point I was like oh, wow, i'm trying to mess with them i'm trying to to take away the free will and so on so on oh, i'm bad i'm bad i'm messing with my people oh. Uh, no, no, I'm inviting them. I'm inviting my, my, my sisters and brothers to, to exercise the fucking free will. To exercise it, you know. Please. At some point, I'm like, please do something, you know. <laughs> what, what is it? I'm, like, I'm going to have to, to spit on your face and to, to, you know, take a pee like in front of your kid. What the fuck is this? I'm a, uh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? You know, I, I'm throwing. I see them like driving with the mask and like, I, I have eggs. I, I wanna, I, w- I wanna throw like, uh, like a bunch of eggs at the cars and say hello. <laughs> well, it's, it's like you know, you're scared. Like, okay, let's, just, you know, let's, let's do it. Let's try to pop your bubble because you, you, you really are a joke. You're, you really are a fucking joke, and I'm, I, I can't take it. You know, at some point. I'm not, I, I can't I, I can't take it. I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take it. And right now I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm again at those points where I, I, I can't take it. Uh, I just all this COVID thing. I'm like, okay, I think it's time to embody and to. And, and to mess with those guys because they're really closed off and really fucking stupid, really fucking arrogant. They they think they wanna, you know. It's like yeah, I'm I'm helping others. I'm like, come on, man, come on, man, come on, you fucking hypocrite. You never helped anybody <laughs> except yourself. And now you want to help everybody by wearing a fucking mask? Come on, man. <laughs> not with me. Not with me. I do not believe you for any, 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 any second. I don't, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. And I'm going to mess with you. I'm going to mess with you. I'm going to prank you. And I'm going to make you see, you know. Make you see that you're full of shit and very much arrogant. Very much. And I very much like to mess. To mess with those, like, the most arrogant ones. You know, I can I can see. I can, I'm scanning. I see a dick. 
I see a very big, like, a very big dick, like, very, like, hmm, this, this dude, this guy, like, very trying to, to impose, like, his, his view on the world, like, the, the, the with the COVID, it, it's been, like, really amazing, like, oh, but, you, but you're not wearing the mask, but you should wear the mask, like, everybody, like, a lot of people, like, turn cops, like, like, in a, you know, one day, two days, they were ready for be like to be the the the, the cops in town. Oh, you're not wearing the mask. You're not respecting the 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 thing. You're not respecting that. You're not respecting this. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. I felt. Victor, the request is coming through right now to encourage or suggest, as much as you see, that the matrix narratives are ones that you created and are also the ones that you are playfully melting popping as much as you see that to also see them as stories as well and to notice that the only true work is the work that we've been talking about throughout the show which is this inward work of both aligning with the highest calling and then the relentless self-purification engine of perpetually checking where you're coming from in the process and becoming more and more wise and precise and loving and compassionate and coming yeah. from source in every single one of your bubble realities clicking for an interaction. Yeah. I love you yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah, I was trying maybe to give some some context about why I felt the urge to you know mm. this inside urge to to pop bubbles and to shadow some way yeah yeah the more that you refine where you're coming from with your calling and with the urge of melting the cages playfully of liberating people's will from the frozen to the vapor liberating their sovereignty enabling and unlocking their highest callings the more that you refine yourself in that process the more you'll frictionlessly and harmonically navigate like a jedi every single one of these bubble realities that clicks and so that's what is coming through right now is yeah. telling the atlas soul that the victor soul is on trajectory for that capacity that ability that level of magic and wizardry as long as victor focuses on that inward purification repeatedly yeah 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 go 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 <laughs> well, well, it's true, it's true. I, mean, I just felt it, you know, at some point. And then I was, I mean, you know, stories, stories again. I gotta say, it's, it's very, it's very you. I found out. I I, I found out what, what really it is about. But uh, until then, I just you know I just stay there and 
and do nothing, you know, like, I wait, you know, uh, I'm getting old. <laughs> Victor, I would like to make the request <sighs> of the Victor Ooh. soul to Ooh. wrap us up with a another musical artistic performance oh you're asking that dude again to come back <laughs> you're asking me to come back <laughs> oh yeah well they may You can find yourself in the I'm glad you to be yourself Don't try to be somebody else Oh, my friend again I'm inviting you You be what you meant to be in the first place. Forget what you know. Forget everything. My they want you to carry with you some kind of fake safety. They might still want to carry Oh please my lord Please give me substance In the substance of this world Give me what I want to Accomplish what I want to Accomplish what I want to Oh baby Let's sing, let's sing, let's sing, let's sing, 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 s